started on YouTube. What is up, bros? This is Matt, aka Lloyd Milligan, and I'm bringing you a brand new series for our channel. And it is titled, in case you couldn't already tell, uh, How to Get Started or Getting Started on YouTube. And uh, the idea behind the series came from just a bunch of questions that we're always getting about how to do certain things and uh, what type of equipment you need. So we decided to make a series of it, and that's what you're watching right now. So the first episode is going to be very basic, talk about some of the equipment and software that you need. We're going to get more advanced as we go along, and I just want to let you guys know if you have any topics that you want me to cover, uh, let me know, and I will be sure to include those topics. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and this episode, I'm going to talk about all the stuff you need. And then at the end, I'm going to list some of the, the topics that we're going to go over in the future. Did I already say that? I'm not sure. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the first slide. So the very first thing you need to do, obviously, you need to get a channel. And uh, I recommend you choose your channel name so it coincides with your Twitter handle and your... Uh, your gamer tag and the, the simple reason is it will be easier in the long run for people to find your channel uh, obviously dentist and I do not have that luxury with our channel we got two people running it so I think probably we've missed out on some people because of the, the uh, incongruency there so uh, let's go ahead and move on uh, computer specs Believe it or not, you do not need a good computer to do this. You don't even need like a media. I started with a very old crappy computer um, and it got the job done. The main thing that you're gaining when you get a better computer as far as it, as it goes is time. Uh, it'll take less time to do pretty much everything if you have a good computer. However, if you're just getting started and I assume one of your goals is to do this cheaply, uh, you can probably use the computer you already have. The one thing that I do recommend you upgrade is getting a big hard drive. They're pretty cheap nowadays, so just invest in you know a terabyte or two terabytes, so you don't have to worry about deleting uh, you know old videos and stuff. And and it's just a lot easier that way. That's the main main thing that I, I recommend you do. Uh, the next thing you need obviously is a high definition capture device. And there's a few out on the market. Oh, uh, I just want to point out, you definitely need high definition. I don't know if people are still starting out trying to do standard def, but I, I, I don't think you really... I think you gain enough for the extra 50 bucks or 75 bucks that you have to pay for, for, a, for a HD device. So, uh, the main options are the Hopog, or I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but the HD PVR. You've got the Black Magic line of products, and I think the newest one is the Avermedia HD PVR. And um, I use and I recommend the Hopog HD PVR. It is uh, very, very easy to set up and use. And the only drawback, as far as I know, is the um, they use component video. So you may have to get a converter if you are using HDMI to carry your uh, signal. So. That's pretty much that's pretty much it for that. Uh, Blackmagic, I've heard there's problems setting it up, especially with uh, live streaming, I believe. So, um, but I know to tons of people use it successfully, so obviously it works. Um, and I have no experience and pretty much have no opinion on the Avermedia, but uh, just want to point out that it is out there. So now let's talk about software. Uh, capture software comes with the HD PVR Total Media Extreme. It's the program I use today. It works very well. And I think if you have a Mac, you have to buy an HD PVR capture program. But uh, yeah, the main main piece of software that you need to worry about is your editing software. There's some free options. So if you, like I said, if you want to do this cheap, I recommend you use uh, what comes with the computer, which is Windows Live Movie Maker. I think a uh, uh, version of iMovie comes with Macs, with uh, Apple computers. So um yeah, if you guys are just trying it out, you want to stay cheap, try those programs. You can definitely do standard commentaries with those. But once you get into the more advanced stuff on YouTube, you're going to want to get a, a more high-powered uh, high program. Uh, Sony Vegas is the one I use, and I recommend it highly. And um, if you're not sure, you can always torrent these programs to try them out. But I do recommend uh, you know paying for it if, uh, if you end up using it. It is expensive, but I think it's worth it. And I think that's about it for this first episode, guys. I just wanted to kind of give you guys the very basics that you need to get started. Now let's go ahead and talk about the upcoming episodes in this series. 
First, I'm going to be telling you guys how to do your first commentary from beginning to end. I'm going to walk you through that process. Uh, next, I want to show you guys how to do live callouts videos or live comms. We get a, that's probably the biggest question we get is how to do those live callout videos. And I will show you guys how to do that. The next episode, there's going to be tips and tricks. I want to show you guys kind of how to network or how to use networking to help your channel. Uh, I want to show you guys how to set up post roles. And uh, I'll show you guys some other sources for views that, that a lot of people use. And uh, some more advanced tips we're going to be showing you. Uh, you know, kind of the stuff that we do in Spawn Shop, which includes graphical overlays and some more advanced video editing. Um, and lastly, I think we're going to show you guys how to do a live stream. So if you guys have any questions or any issues that you want us to cover, now's the time. Uh, comment on this video or hit me up and I will uh, get back to you. All right, guys, that's it for the series. Let us know what you think and we'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.